if you remember way back from the beginning of this shark escapade that we find ourselves on, we had two AX950s that were okay. The purple one, which we've seen done, and etc. And this black one, which runs fine, bar the issues with the head. This is the head where one of the wheels is really, really stiff and the whole thing is seized up inside. So I'm going to bring you down and we're going to crack this open and see what we can do about it. Yes, hello my vacuum cleaner chums, how are you today? Yes, we need to start seeing what's wrong with this duo clean head and if there's anything we can do about it. Oh, I struggle to open the top. Ew, look at the state of this. And there, it barely turns at all, I'm imagining. But it has something to do with hair. In today's delightful episode of our fun, so we shall find ourselves the correct size torque for the first of about three that we'll need. We'll start with the T20 and take out all of the screws. pop out these two caps, four caps on either side of the head. We can then drop down to a T10 and remove the screws on the ends of the floor head. And gingerly lift them up. I think there's no clips, but there are some slidey bars underneath which we need to be a bit careful of. There's one, there is two, there we go, one side off. Oh, we can see a nice bit of rust there, that's always good. These are the release bars for the various bits and bobs. We'll take those out with their springs. I can see water has been inside of this machine whether that's from storage you know after it had died and rescued from wherever it was this has caused it to find it in my front room now with us or oh, that's what killed it off in the first place I just don't know there we go i don't think i broke anything there the oh, front wheel is completely is it yes it is completely seized up and that is a one piece wheel so not a lot we can do about that and here is the other bar lots of rust there as well and a fair bit of rust on our motor screws too oh dear we should now be able to open this up and oh my goodness state of that don't know if it's this or that now yeah that's definitely been submerged in water oh blimey hmm. let's take out some of this stuff because like i say it's all still very very gacky and it might be fixable so i think it did try to turn two more screws under here and we can push out our cog, where's my screw? This cog spins fine, even though it is full of hair, we'll have to fix that, so that's good. Take off the first belt. Oh, crosshead screws now, I suppose, because 
you could change the brush roll fairly simply by just taking off the two ends and doing this. Right? Right. If you come to pinch, you come to look at my screws. Yeah. Take those out. And in theory, it should just pop out. Like so, and that spins very freely as well. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. The motor sort of does as well. Let's try and get these screws out. Oof. Don't know how successful this is going to be. One. There's the second one. Two. Very nice indeed. Yeah, I think the motor is at fault here. <laughs> Let's pull this up. That'll give us room to get the motor out. And, oh, we can't unplug it. Thanks, Shark. Ah, yeah. I don't think there's a segment missing off the com, but there is one that's like a small snail in there. So, yes, this particular motor and PCB... I think he's no good because I can't get this out. Anyway, oh blimey, yeah, that's that's no good. There's something binding there actually. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's raining something. I don't think I'm gonna bother fixing it up. I don't think I trust it to run. Even if I could, that is a bit of a pain because I now don't have the right motor for my spare head ah that's a bit of a bummer hmm let me have a think about this and see if i can come up with a plan can't do an awful lot because all i can really get off is this back plate here to get to this back sealed bearing which spins fine and a couple of lumpy bits have fallen out and it seems fairly free both ways now, so I'm going to squirt some of this about and we'll fit it back into here and then we'll test it before we go much further. We're back together and hooked up to Am Shark. Does it work? Oh, this is double nose. No. The handle is doing nothing. Sadly, I think it has possibly killed something on the board as well, maybe. I don't know, but eh, if that's not working, there's not a great deal else I can do. So that head is sadly scrap. I can't quite be bothered to do much more to it. Especially when we have this one here, which runs really well, but is physically broken and has a scrap top part. So, I think it's quite clear to see where I'm going with this. We're going to put this top, which has the non-broken part, onto this head. This head is generally better anyway, I think, than that one. So, that will be fine. I mean, it's disgusting as well. But it should clean up okay. Yeah, it ran really far. Oh, it's no... Ooh, hello. The wear that I've just re-noticed on there. Crumbs. Does this even come out anymore? Oh, flipping shark, man. Who'd have them? That is worn right down. Whereas this one isn't. Oh, right. Okay, let's see how similar these are. Because they... I think we have to swap the motor 
this motor into that housing with this top plate because this housing is just completely and utterly trash man right oh let's get this one apart it's been so long since i've looked at these that i've forgotten that look this is definitely the scrap head right there is no real question about that because yeah it's chucked the belt through the side of course so yeah I don't know. so this is its destiny to be ripped up to have its motor and possibly more transplanted but what's actually happened here i don't know because this bit i've always wondered what happened with this and look this bit is all absolutely fine i, I see no reason why you couldn't just stick another belt on that yeah look the belt's burnt through probably re <laughs> probably reuse that belt in a stretch as well yeah the belt has melted all the way through on that side look so that is also scrap 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 right yes definitely remember now so strip this head down right And with both of them stripped apart, there is quite a huge difference in them. Now, why have I stripped off all of this? Well, because I don't want to have to solder the wires. For this one now, we can chop those off because that is rubbish as well. And I'll keep this as a spare decent unit. But when, when you refurbish them, in order to take this apart, which you probably do need, you know, to give it a pop of wash. You just snip those three wires, then you can just solder them back together. Now, anybody that wants, so we'll leave this hole. I'll just transplant the whole thing back into this head because this is the head that is not completely worn through on the bottom. Ugh. Ah. So let's build this head up, which in itself isn't fab, but. We're not refurbishing it today. We can not care about that for now. It's not clogged up. That'll be enough. I'll get this put back together with the best of everything. It can have the nice brush roll. It can have the non-worn front roller and obviously the belts that it had. And yeah, hopefully we'll get it back together again. I can get rid of all that rubbish. I've just taken the very sticky seized front well, rear wheel off. Yeah. More water. That's going to go in the bin because I have a nice spare one from the other head. Although obviously you could knock out the pin. There's nothing actually holding it in. It will just be gunk and rust and then it'll be okay. These wheels are also, actually I need to make sure that I've taken the same side off because they don't each fit each side. No, oh, they don't. I'm going to take the other wheel off because I've actually taken off the opposing edge. You see that they are different. So that one's got pointy bits on it and this one hasn't. So there is something to bear in mind when you are doing one of these. The rear wheels are handed to the side. Right, carry on then. Come on, Phoenix. This won't put itself together. Sometime later and, well, here we go. This 
is either going to work or not work. But I'm assuming it's going to work. I don't see why it shouldn't. Guess we'll find out. Excellent. I think that's not too bad. Let's clean this black rug next. Not too bad at all, and a nice wadge of dust in the bottom of this filthy, filthy bin. Obviously, this is not one that's been refurbished yet by any stretch, which is actually quite good because now that we've got this working, take a little side shuffle because whilst it's filthy, I picked up something out of a skip the other day, and here it is. I was driving the kids home the other day and saw it on the side of the road and thought oh i could do with actually primarily i picked it up to replace that beige carpet that we were just using but it was wet with snow and it's been drying now it's dry and now we have this shaft which is still filthy i thought we'd see how well it comes up because it does have a pile on it it's just very very worn down Fantastic. Well, this has some nice pile to it. It is bigger as well than my old piece of carpet. This has served us well on this channel. Blimey, when you think of all of the vacuums that we've taken apart on this. But it is literally falling to bits, bless it. And it's a bit small too. I think this nice big piece is going to be better. I might buy some gaffer tape or similar to edge it with just so it doesn't you know keep being tatty but yeah nice big spreadable thing to take apart stuff on and in fact actually how much dirt did it pick up oh a nice big wadge of dense sandy fluff in the ugh, disgusting but this also means that the other ax950 the one that hasn't got a dodgy wand is now done because we fixed the switch in the previous video and we've now made one very good working floor head out of two so hopefully the next time you see this actually it won't be done next time you see this don't worry so hopefully soon we will see this completely done not looking 
But I can't just drag it out of the swamp. And then look at our better and we can look at it and say, oh, didn't you do a good job? And then I can just sell it. So until then, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. And I and this shark will see you soon. Bye-bye.